I'm going to be reading from Matthew chapter 26, verse 47. Oh. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Just then, while Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve apostles, arrived. A large crowd carrying swords and clubs was with him. They were from the chief priests and leaders of the people. My God, my God, why is thou forsaken me? So at this time when Jesus was saying these words, he was getting crucified. He was getting beaten, bruised, and people were mean and shouting upon the hills, crucify him. And this only happened to one person. Imagine it happening to everybody in the world getting killed one by one. If if this if the works of God didn't do this to Jesus, we wouldn't be here today. Amen. So now I'm going to talk about Judas. Judas agreed to betray Jesus. He was scared of what the people of Israel might become, and he was like. Like at this time, Satan Satan was entering his courts, so his whole mindset and everything was just 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 was wanting to kill Jesus. Also, Judas was one of the um, followers of Jesus. Jesus believed in him that he could like help people when he when he was gonna go and. He was, uh, he was a disciple, which means to follow or another person leads you so you can learn by them. Now, I'm going to talk about what he wanted, like how he was going to set up to betray Jesus. He went to the priest, the chief priest, and the guard who guard the temple. And they were just trying to figure out, they were just talking about how they would betray Jesus and sacrifice, sacrifice him because they were all scared. They didn't believe that it could be if change was better or not. Okay, um, now I'm going to talk about the 12 disciples or apostles. The twelve disciples or apostles preached in, Je in the church that they were led by Jesus. Some some of them wrote portions of the Bible, so Jesus was pretty like was pretty confident in them to, so he was like pretty confident in them to he believed in them so and. So he let them write portions of the Bible. And they, they all didn't want to betray Jesus. They all believed in him. For example, John, John knew that he had to take care of Mary because, because Jesus was getting crucified and Jesus was telling him, you have to take care of my mother Mary, our mother Mary, and just take care of her while I'm gone. Okay. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd armed with swords and clubs. So I'm going to talk about how the people in the crowd like were being mean to him to Jesus. They were they were, they had swords and clubs and they were given they were given to the guards of the temples to to pierce Jesus in his side and then throw stones at him and 
just be hateful and mean. And I found out uh, while all of this was happening, Lot's wife was standing right there seeing what was happening to, to him. And she was wondering why is this happening to him? Because she thought he was a he was a great person. And she was saying, I heard people shot upon the hills, crucify him, crucify him. And she was just like amazed why is this happening to him. And all these people all these people had sinned. So Jesus knew this was gonna happen. That's why he said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Because at this time, he knew God set this up to happen to him instead of everybody else. So, so he was just amazed, he was just, asking why but if it wasn't for God we wouldn't be here today because if he didn't share his blood for everyone right. for everyone That's right. we wouldn't be here today amen and and our master and leader Jesus he he was brave enough to do this to his own self because he could have he could have like said no I'm not going to do this he could have ran out he could have done anything but because he wasn't of sin he did what he would think the people of it, all the people he did what he thought the people would need he thought they would need his blood and to because he was unsinful and everybody was sinful. So Jesus just, he just got crucified and he knew that this wasn't going to be the last day he was going to be on earth. He knew he was going to come down again. And um, this is one. Amen. Good job. Yeah.